Well, here at Truly Tropical, we are always looking for new mango varieties. Uh, sometimes we find them other places, and a lot of times I try to grow out interesting seeds and see if the fruit from those seedling trees is exceptional. Of course, a lot of times, you know, it's like the princess kissing a lot of frogs before she kisses the prince. A lot of times they are not up to snuff, uh, but there are a few times that it really works out well. Uh, this tree right here is one that we've had to be patient with. Uh, I really like its growth habit. I hope for really good fruit, but it hasn't fruited yet. So crossing fingers, I hope that we get some fruit from this tree this year. Uh, but we do have a couple of varieties that people have liked a lot. Uh, several years ago, uh, Carpe Diem fruited for the first time. It was incredible. The flavor was like a carry combined with lemon zest. No fiber, really excellent flavor. The funny thing about Carpe Diem is that the flavor has actually changed over the years. Uh, each year is a little bit different, uh, but last year a lot of our customers got to try Carpe Diem and wanted the trees. Uh, it's actually a pretty darn nice looking tree. So uh, I actually have one right over here. So this is Carpe Diem. Uh, it's um, yeah, pretty tree and the fruit is has been very popular. So we've actually been trying to graft a lot of Carpe Diem because people have wanted these trees. The good news is we will have Carpe Diem trees available in a few months. Like a lot of the mango varieties that we've come up with, the Carpe Diem is actually named for its position in the grove. Uh, <laughs> and you think that that doesn't sound like a position in the grove. Well, the designation for that original tree was CZ. And CZ is actually, of course, shortened to C's, and Carpe Diem translates to seize the day. So I know it's like a, a long way to go for that connection, but Carpe Diem is the name. So the other variety that really impressed people this last season uh, was originally known as Monkey because it was right next to some monkey bars. So <laughs> there's our logic again. Uh, but you know, Monkey possibly wasn't the best name for a mango, uh, but it got renamed uh, later on in the summer because unfortunately earlier in the summer my brother died and so Marco was the name I called him and so Marco is the other variety of mango that we're trying to uh, make plants of unfortunately when we did our mass trimming after mango season uh, that particular tree I forgot to mention to the guy who was trimming the trees to not trim that one and basically we lost a big source of of graft wood one thing I should mention about Marco well not only is the flavor really nice it's very um, you know typical Indian flavor uh, but the tree is amazing uh, because it holds the fruit for weeks uh, you know I've only had one fruit fall and that might have been from a squirrel starting to eat it uh, which the squirrel uh, thing is another big plus for Marco uh, we never saw any squirrel damage on any of the fruit of that tree even though it was right next to a fence until the very last fruit and I left that fruit hanging for a long time because I wanted to see how long it would actually hang while being ready to pick and uh, the answer was at least three weeks but unfortunately eventually the the fruit started to give off an aroma that attracted the squirrel or the squirrel had become truly desperate because all the other fruit in the area was gone and so we had one fallen fruit with squirrel damage but everything else on the tree was wonderful anyway um, it looks like carpe diem 
is going to be, uh, we'll be able to release that in a couple months, but unfortunately, Marco will have to wait.